Russia's only aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov, may no longer be operational again. The aircraft carrier suffered back-to-back -back accidents in the last two years and is out of service for a long time. An assessment by the Russian Navy's Northern Fleet estimates the damage at 95 billion rubles or over 1.5 billion US dollars. The repair cost is almost as much as the current value of the warship. It's estimated that the ship, which has seen such a long service life and has significant wear and tear in the hull, is worth 110 billion rubles, about 1.76 billion dollars, excluding its weapons. Viewers may note that the warship has been facing major issues since 2016 and has had to be accompanied by tugboats. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia may have finally given up on its troubled aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by free-to-play game World of Tanks. It's one of the most well-designed tank games in the world which can be played on PC. The game has huge tank arsenal which consists of tank destroyers, artillery, light, medium and heavy tanks. The game has authentic models and vehicle characteristics as well as focuses on a realistic combat scenarios. You can fight battles, cross open fields, climb steep hills, sneak through forests, tear across deserts and in urban industrial zones. There are over 550 tanks and 40 battle arenas. World of Tanks has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus which will grant you 7 premium days, 500 gold, a premium tank Soviet T-127 if you're registering for the first time. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and use the code TANKTASTIC to get your bonus. Take the plunge and join more than 100 million players who share the same passion as you. Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier has been serving as the flagship of the Russian Navy. The ship was named after the Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Nikolai Gerasimovich Kuznetsov, who served in the Soviet Navy during the Second World War. It was launched in 1985 and commissioned on the 25th of December 1990. The Kuznetsov class aircraft carriers were the last class of aircraft carriers designed for the Soviet Navy. She was built by the Black Sea Shipyard, the sole manufacturer of Soviet aircraft carriers, in Mykolaiv within the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic. Two hulls were laid down in Ukraine before the Soviet Union collapsed. Kuznetsov serves today in the Russian Navy. It has a displacement of around 55,000 tons and a length of around 304 meters. To give you a perspective, American Nimitz-class carriers have a displacement of around 100,000 tons and is 30 meters longer. Kuznetsov is powered by six diesel generators. Admiral Kuznetsov can accommodate an air wing with 30 fighters, which is significantly lower than Nimitz's class capability which can hold over 70 aircraft. It carries MiG-29K and Su-33 fighter planes. These are fourth generation aircraft and very capable ones. Admiral Kuznetsov uses ski ramp to assist aircraft takeoffs, unlike the steam-powered catapult system to launch aircraft. It's fitted with several kind of weapons which include six AK-630 AA guns, eight CADS N1 Kashtan CIWS close-in weapon system, 12 P-700 Granite SSM. Earlier reports indicate that there were plans to upgrade the armament and outfit it with caliber NK class cruise missiles, Onyx supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles and the Zircon advanced hypersonic missiles which reached a speed of 8 Mach in a recent test. On the 30th of October 2018, Admiral Kuznetsov suffered a major mishap while undergoing overhaul work at a dockyard in Roslyakovo, near Murmansk. The aircraft carrier nearly sank. The Kuznetsov was stationed inside floating dock PD-50. The dock capable of handling vessels up to 80,000 tons is the biggest one Russia had and one of the largest in the world. On the 30th of October, the dock's tank started to take in water and led to the tilting of the dock on one side. 
one of the PD-50's two cranes, which are 70 tons each, fell on the deck of the Kuznetsov. This resulted in a hole of 4 by 5 meters. The second crane also got imbalanced and, as per some reports, fell into the sea. Somehow, PD-50 did not capsize, and as the water filled the dock, Kuznetsov floated and was tugged out. In about four hours, PD-50 went down and sank. The disaster could have been even more catastrophic if Kuznetsov was not moved out. Currently, the carrier is being repaired in Russia's Arctic port in Murmansk, also known as the Barents Seaport. This is where a new accident took place. On December 12, 2019, a fire broke out during welding work to repair an electrical compartment on the ship's lower deck, where several cables caught fire. The fire spread to roughly 600 square meters or 6,458 square feet, and several repair personnel suffered injuries. Reports suggested that new equipment that had been delivered for the rework but yet to be installed was also damaged due to this latest mishap. Admiral Kuznetsov is known to produce a lot of smoke and it can be identified from long distances because of this. One of the main reasons is because of the use of mazut. Mazut is a heavy petrochemical fuel and, if not properly utilized, produces a lot of smoke. Reports in Russian media indicate that the worksmanship and quality of the material used in the carrier are not up to the mark. Admiral Valentin Selivanov had said, from the very beginning, poor quality pipes were installed in her boilers. He also described the problems faced during Kuznetsov 1990s sea trials. According to him, due to the problems with the pipes, not all boilers could run at full capacity all the time. They would often break down and sometimes the ship was reduced to operating on one boiler, giving it a speed of around 4 knots. So it's not surprising that Admiral Kuznetsov has seen many embarrassing malfunctions in recent years and it's been pictured with a tugboat many a time. The PD-50 loss in the first accident was a big blow since it had no easy replacement. Most of Russia's big surface ships were built in Soviet times, which includes the Kuznetsov. The construction of these vessels were carried out in the Black Sea port of Mykolaiv, which is now in Ukraine. Currently, Mykolaiv's large shipbuilding docks are unavailable to Russia because of its conflict with Ukraine. The PD-50 was the only floating dock in northern Russia that can handle Kuznetsov or the nuclear battlecruiser Peter Veliki. Peter Veliki is also scheduled for an overhaul. Russia's state-owned shipbuilding monopoly, the United Shipbuilding Corporation, had made a statement that damage to Kuznetsov was manageable and would not undermine plans to return the vessel back to active service in 2021. In May 2019, it was revealed that the replacement of PD-50 will be accomplished by merging and enlarging two dry docks. Reports indicate that not everyone in the Russian power circle wants to go ahead with the repair of the troubled warship. Several important people have opined that the money could be better utilized to build a pair of frigates or a nuclear submarine. Others support building a new carrier. There are already two competing designs being talked of. Both proposed carriers, one named the Storm and the other the Lamantin, are nuclear-powered. The Project 23000 Storm, designed by Krylov's State Scientific Center, has a length of 330 meters and a displacement of 100,000 tons. It's estimated to be able to carry around 90 aircraft. The Lamantin from the Nevskoy Design Bureau will displace 90,000 tons of water and will be able to embark around 60 aircraft. Several other smaller designs are also being looked at. Admiral Kuznetsov has got into one problem after another. It has never-ending lingering issues. Several sources indicate that, since it's a matter of national pride, Russia may still get the Admiral Kuznetsov repaired. But on a purely technical basis, it could be a more sensible decision to go for an entirely new aircraft carrier, 
or build other kinds of assets like a submarine. Maintaining and operating an aircraft carrier is not an easy task. It needs strong air defenses and has to be accompanied by numerous escort ships. It's to be noted that Russia's defense budget is around 10% of the American defense budget. It remains to be seen what call Russian decision makers, especially President Putin, take on this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.